Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Cloud Box. This is the next video inside the Azure Data Factory playlist. And in this video, I am going to discuss about the switch activity. So my channel name is Cloud Box, and here I mostly upload video related to Azure Data Engineering, Azure Data Factory, DataBricks, Spark SQL, PySpark, Azure DevOps. So I have covered most of the uh, activities. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the next activity that is the switch activity. So quickly just go and create one pipeline. So I'll name the pipeline like uh, PL underscore switch underscore activity. Okay. So uh, if you go to move and uh, transform, you have this kind of activity, copy activity and the data flow. So just go and simply go to the search box and search for the switch. So if you are coming from a programming background or from a SQL background, probably you will understand what is the switch statement in SQL. What is basically, I mean, what is basically a switch statement in a programming language or a case statement in a SQL, okay, SQL. So, but in my previous video, we have discussed about what is the if activity. In if activity, we have limitation, right? We can have only two options either true or false but in a switch we have a multiple set of condition okay like more than two condition and user can have basically uh, take uh, take any of the condition okay so basically right we have multiple conditions okay so for fulfilling the multiple condition without using the nested if we have something called a switch activity inside the the data factory so just quickly go to the search box and search for the switch activity and just basically if you see the switch activity so there are few tabs uh, general tab activities tab and user property so just simply click on the switch activity here you can rename it okay and in the activities this is basically expression okay so in the expression the value you should keep that should be a parameterized it's cannot be a hard coded value okay so let's say just first understand our scenario so the scenario may be uh, so let's say if we just uh, consider about the scenario so our uh, scenario may be like uh, let's say i have uh, three files okay three different files okay and for the file names like files names are like one is a product one is uh, like uh, sales and some other file maybe just will quickly show this storage account there you can actually see the files okay so let's understand the scenario so we have a first file is like a product file okay and the second file if you uh, talk about we have basically a product model file okay and the third file we have basically a sales order uh, detail file and we have a fourth file that is a customer example file that is a customer file so what user want to achieve and what is the business use case like if user input like a product so then you have a pipeline which will copy this uh, product file from landing folder to maybe in uh, basically a prep folder inside one subfolder and then it should copy if user input basically like a product model then this product model should copy from this location to the prep location so so similarly if user inputs for uh, a customer file then it should copy the customer file from this location to the prep location okay understood and maybe the last condition should be okay if the maybe a fourth condition should be user should copy the file which is present in the sql db to this prep folder and there could be one more condition if nothing got satisfied 
then it should execute the default activity okay so the default activity come by default in a switch if no activity satisfies any condition it should be it should come under the default activity so for that reason for input right we have to add a parameter okay so let's say you are adding a parameter that is input and default value is nothing okay so let's quickly come here and in the default activity we will consider it later so here you can see this option like uh, add case okay it's nothing but a case statement so in a sql like we used to write a case then when uh, if this then this so similarly we need to add the case here right so just uh, be very careful whatever the value you give it here it is a case a uh, sensitive okay so let's say you go to storage account and the first consider you are considering this customer file right so you are considering this customer so so you should give the name like this okay then the next part you go and you are just giving you are giving this maybe a product file right so quickly go and copy paste this product in the next one maybe you are going to copy i will not take all files but i will show you uh, maybe in that you are going to copy the sales order detail one okay so just go and copy this okay and in the fourth one you are taking sql file and that is you are giving by own okay so you have four options that is customer product sales order details and sql files you this you can change it like one two three four as well okay as per your thing okay but but user should also know one represents for which file if you are mentioning customer so user will have idea like okay i need to put customer in an input then it will going to copy something customer okay and just quickly come to the default one so in the default if no if nothing got uh, satisfy and you can add it anything right you can add the uh, copy one more file or maybe for this time i will take a wait activity and i will uh, bring it here and i will wait for five seconds okay so uh, so far we have added this but you can see you can see here there is no activity attached right so we need to attach the activities as well correct so just quickly go and click on this pencil icon so for the customer we need to copy the customer file correct so go to source i have a generic data set already created in the file system i will write uh, landing if you do not know what is the parameterization i have already covered in the data set just go quickly and watch it it is really helpful always because using one data set for input output i can have only one data set as a generic data set for entire thing okay but if you do not do a parameterization probably you need to create eight data set for input and output okay so just go here and see whether you where you want to store this right so you picked it from landing okay and i mean you picked it from landing and which file you are taking customer example right so just go in the data factory put it here customer example and you need to choose the wildcard file and this is the txt file right what i saw okay you need to give the txt file okay and for the sync part again you need to choose this one and in the file system you want to store it where you want to store in something called inside a prep right so you need to give this prep okay and in the prep you want to create one more folder that is called a uh, switch and inside the switch you want to store inside one more again subfolder that is customer example and here you want to store in a dot txt only let's say fine so this one part is completed right again go to activity go for product okay so similarly again copy paste i'll what i'll do i'll go here i'll go here what i'll do i'll copy this we'll bring it here We'll go to activities and simply paste this. 
okay so i'll paste so what you can see i need to change the name okay i need to change the name so this time i want to copy the product example i believe so we'll go and i'll choose this product example and in the sync also i'll choose product example cool uh go again here go to activities now i need to copy the sales order right so quickly go here paste it here the same copy one product example one second i guess uh, One second, one second. Okay, you need to copy the sales order details. So you just bring it here. Sales order details. Go to sync. Sales order details. Cool. Uh, just go and uh, double check the uh, product part. The naming thing is correct or not? Product example, right? So go to landing and see product example. Fine sort of our uh, thing got completed uh, we'll quickly again check uh, you can rename it copy product data fine and the source it is wildcard path in the sink it's a location prep again copy customer sales order details I'll go and rename i'm just renaming it for the purpose uh, someone come and uh, they are able to understand what file we are going to copy correct so always make a good practice if something you are doing that have a proper naming uh, convention so other people can easily understand so again i'll add this here cool uh, let's quickly verify everything this is copying cells and this sql files we do not we have not added okay so what i'll do i'll click go and text copy activity in the source i'll choose sql db and in the table name uh, instead of uh, what I'll do, I'll just open it. Open it that that is a parameterized, right? So what we can do, we have one table that is a product table. We'll hard code it as of now, but this thing also you can uh, parameterize. There is option called add dynamic content, and while running it will ask. So uh, it will call it with sales lt dot product. Okay. So I'll just added it here in the sync. Again, you take a this one in the prep and then in this after the switch you have something called sql files okay uh, there you may be dot txt only fine uh verify everything and one more thing in this activity section in the expression you need to add a parameter so that parameter you have created input right so you just go quickly and run this fine so our i guess uh, everything got completed uh, quickly save this and validate it as well well after saving validate okay so let's say i'm just copying this customer okay and while debug i'll pass this okay and uh, let's say uh, i'll wait for the execution okay so it should copy the uh, customer file from this location let is should copy customer file uh, customer example right uh, whether you have written customer example okay so just quickly go it should take this customer file file from this location it should copy in prep inside switch customer example and i can see our file got copied 
cool so similarly if you go and execute for one more thing right quickly check okay. let's say if you are copying for sales order details just go and debug and run so if you are going to run this it should also copy the same okay it should also copy the same thing just quickly go here in storage account go to switch uh, go to prep it's created a folder and it copied it correct so we are able to achieve what we wanted to achieve it correct so now uh, let's say i want to copy the sql file so in the debug i'll pass sql and I, let's say it should copy the table from sql db and it should because in the data set we have given the path for sql db so if you do not know how to create sql db in azure i have already created a video on the top of that from beginning from how to uh, create a sql server and db and how to copy the tables and all through sql db to adls or blog so go ahead and watch it so quickly go to switch you can see sql files and it copied the sql data as well but here is a catch guys you see right this thing i told this is a case sensitive so if let's say instead of customer i am passing capital c okay anything i am passing capital c and then customer or maybe all the uh, letters in the customer are capital so let's do okay this time also it should copy the customer file but in the default case what we have given we have given wait activity right so it's not executing the it is not copying the customer file it is executing the wait activity it means none of this condition is getting satisfied so by default it is taking a wait activity. why because this is a case sensitive if you are mentioning c as a capital so it is not considering this part okay it is considering this part so user can enter any value right user do not know how you have written your pipeline so you may face some situation where you have to design a pipeline whether user know it's a case sensitive but user is user right user are supreme so you need to design a pipeline in a way user should give either lower case or an upper case or mix of anything you should design away your pipeline in that way your pipeline should take the value and consider it unless until it is a meaningful value right so the moment you create it so in the expression you need to first either you can consider all in upper case or but we have given everything in lower case so just add and we have a one function called dot two lower okay just remove this and close it here fine just save this now <laughs> now go and run the same thing again okay and do the same thing customer now run this it this time it is copying the customer not the wait activity fine It successfully copied if you go to storage account see this customer file is present okay so uh, let's run one more time uh, let's say i am giving a string value it is a string value i'm just giving uh, tdrt anything i'm giving so uh, it shouldn't take anything from uh, what we have written right customer product sales sql file it should execute a default one which is if none of condition is matching it will execute the default one so let's go and run this so it is executed the wait activity so i guess in this video you are pretty much familiar what is the switch activity and how you should use it so basically it's similar to a case statement in sql so